help us lobby the European Commission. I think you, they need European governments uh, to fund the ANSP deficits. You can't turn around and ask the airlines or our customers in a post-COVID recovery to pay for the deficits of ANSPs. Governments need to pick, up, pick that up. It's not a subsidy to us. It's a subsidy to the consumer. It's a small amount of money, but that's what's necessary. And then I think we need, over the medium term, Euro control needs to take more of a leadership role as the flow manager, the deliverer of more efficient, more direct flight routings across Europe, lowering charges for ANSP providers by encouraging those ANSP providers to compete against each other in the same way that the airlines do. But be in no doubt there is going to be a very strong recovery post-COVID. Not necessarily in summer 21, but through the winter 21, summer 22 into 2023, I see Ryanair recovering very strongly. I mean, we carried 150 million passengers last year prior to COVID. That will fall to probably around 35 million passengers this year. Next year into summer 21, it could be anything between 95 to 125 million passengers. But after that, I think we're back on track heading towards 200 million passengers with a fleet of really exciting new Boeing Game Changer aircraft. And we want to put those at airports all over Europe so we can work with our airport partners to see Europe fire back strongly, quickly, and get lots of those unemployed pilots and cabin crew back into jobs, well-paid jobs working for Ryanair. 